Hello you gorgeous creatures. I realize that favorites on YouTube are a pretty big deal, and I used to have the equivalent of them on my website, and they were called monthly lusts. Pretty much what I'm lusting over each month. I used to write them in article format, but I decided that this year I was going to start doing video. And remember that time I said that I was going to do September, October, November, and December all in one article, and I never did it? Yeah, those were good times. I didn't get around to doing them because I got so swamped with video that I just couldn't find the time. So I'm making up for it by doing extra awesome ones on YouTube. I also realized that I'm late. Please be gentle with me. I'm new here. Aww. And it's my first time. So I guess in March, I'll try to upload within the first week. But I've just been so busy with Valentine's Day looks that I had to kind of squeeze this into all the other videos. So let's get started. This month isn't too crazy. I've got several things that I've been using on the regular that I love. And I will go through them one by one. So I'm going to start out with a lip product and it is the Maybelline Color Whisper. This one is in Ola Lilac and it is a super pretty lilac bluish pink. These are basically like all the other lip butters out there. Pretty much every drugstore brand has them now, but I was very pleasantly surprised with Maybelline's. They are super glossy, they're sheer but not too sheer. There's a great color selection and I like the packaging and I like how compact they are. On to an eye product, I am loving Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. This is an eye primer, it comes with a little wand. In Canada, you can find Essence Cosmetics at Shoppers Drug Mart. And in the States, I believe you can find it at Fred Meyer and Ulta. This is like $3.99 Canadian, and I find it to be a really great base. It's almost like a liquid form of the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. The shade is very close. I find that it adheres eyeshadow very well. It does not crease and you can't really beat the price. I was actually using this in December and all of January and I was thoroughly impressed with it, so I highly recommend you pick it up and try it. It's only $3.99, so you don't really have that much to lose if you hate it, but something tells me you're not gonna hate it. I'm currently loving Maybelline's Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer. I know I'm probably late on the bandwagon, Better late than never, but I really like this. I love the way that it brightens. I love that it kind of highlights the under eye. It doesn't crepe, it doesn't look cakey. Very neat and clean application. And I know that L'Oreal has a similar one and I think I'm gonna try that one. The only thing I wish is that it was a little bit bigger and it came with a little bit more product in it. That being said, I was very impressed with this. Onto some cheek and face products. I've got e.l.f.'s Baked Blushes. And I purchased these with their Black Friday sale. This one is in Peachy Cheeky, and this one is in Passion Pink. Considering the regular price of these is like three or four dollars, I think they're absolutely amazing. They're no different than any other baked blush. You could probably even pull off using these as a highlight. There's quite a bit of product in the little pan. They're not too frosty and shimmery. They do have a little swirl of bronze in them, and I think overall they're a great product. From my knowledge, no Canadian retailer carries e.l.f., but I order mine online. And if you're living in the States, obviously you can purchase e.l.f. products at Target. I do believe the website has a wider range and they always have sales, so make sure to check that out. Next I've got Rimmel's Natural Bronzer in Sunlight. And you may have noticed me using this quite a bit in my Valentine's Day tutorials. I wanted a lighter matte contour. Normally I use the NARS Bronzer in Laguna, and if I blend it out enough I can get a natural finish, but I was kind of just over it for January and I wanted to try something new. I've used a few of Rimmel's face products, but I never really explored the powders or the bronzers or the blushes, so this pulled through, and if you're fair skin like me, I would definitely give it a try if you want to use something for a contour shade. It smells like kind of rosy, so that's always a plus, and it's really inexpensive, which is also a plus. Onto some skincare products. Normally I use number seven's four in one quick thinking wipes to remove my makeup, but I ran out one day and I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I believe they were sold out. So I decided to purchase the Pond's Cleansing and Makeup Removing Towelettes. These are awesome. And this is the first time I've switched from the four in one wipes by number seven and been happy with what I tried. I've tried a bunch of different brands and I was completely disappointed in them, but these ones were great. What I like about these wipes is that they're almost kind of like fabric and they've got this embossed kind of pattern on them which actually helps to remove the makeup more so than just kind of like a flat makeup wipe. The smell is bearable and 
Fragrance for me is huge. Either I like it completely unscented or I need something that's nose friendly. Some wipes out there honestly smell like ass or chemicals or just really overwhelming fumes. So I was definitely happy with these. They removed every little bit of makeup off my face. I could use them around the eyes and they left my face feeling really fresh and really clean. Number seven, you've got some competition. Here I've got a acne spot treatment, and this is by Kate Somerville, and it's called Eradicate, and Kate is spelt like K-A-T-E. So clever, right? Yeah, this is an awesome spot treatment. The top of the bottle is liquid, and the bottom is kind of like a clay consistency. Basically what you do to use this is you take a Q-tip, and you slide it through the top, and you dip it in the product at the very bottom, and then you pull it out. That way it gets a little bit of the clay, and it gets a little bit of the liquid on top. Then you apply it to the culprit that is terrorizing your face. Leave it on overnight, and I swear in the morning I've noticed that my pimples are minimized, if not gone completely. I've used a lot of spot treatments. I spent a lot of money on products and I was super, super happy with this. This is available at Sephora. I think it's a little bit pricier. It might be in like the $30 range. I got mine when I purchased one of her acne kits. So I think it was a little bit cheaper in that. But if you want to buy just the spot treatment, I can double check and put it in the description box below. But it is a little bit pricier. However, I've had this for like two or three months and I think I'm going to have it for another two months. So you definitely get your bang for your buck and I just use that saying I don't think I've ever used that in my life <laughs> so yeah this has been kind of a secret weapon when that time of the month decides to take over my face and destroy my life so dramatic Next I got a pretty cool product that I was really impressed with because it was from Trader Joe's. It is the Nourish Oil-Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. It's fragrance-free, it's paraben-free, and it's pretty simple. Sometimes with my skin I find that I overthink things and I go out of my way to overcomplicate my skincare routine. I look things up, I order things online, oh my god, seriously, if I could write down every single product I've tried for my skin and counted all the dollars I've spent on this thing, it's ridiculous. But I was really happy with this. This was, I think, like $13 from Trader Joe's, and it's a really simple moisturizer. It does the job, it hydrates my skin, it's oil-free, it doesn't have a scent, it's not heavy, it just is, you know? And I've been happy with it, so I'm gonna continue using it, and look how much I've used in a month. And P.S. American friends, you have no idea how lucky you are to have Trader Joe's in your country. Like, Trader Joe's to me is the best place on earth for food, for snacks, for vegetables, for everything. I try to get over the border at least once a week to go to Trader Joe's, and the guards make me feel like a criminal because I go over so often and they don't believe that I go to Trader Joe's. Gotta love border guards. No matter how innocent I am, border guards just have this awesome talent at making me feel like Dexter or Walt on Breaking Bad. I don't know about you guys, but once they start asking me all these questions, I almost start doubting myself and I'm like, I don't know, do I have more than $10,000 of cash in my car? Is there a dead body in my trunk? I don't know. They just interrogate you and intimidate you. All I wanna do is just go get some avocados and chia seeds. Get off me, bro. I fell in love with this next product by getting a little sample and then purchasing kind of like a mini version of it. And it is the Bioderma Sensibio H2O makeup remover solution. Normally when I purchase makeup removers and eye makeup removers, I always purchase the ones that have oil in them. I have the L'Oreal one and I have the Lancome one and I believe both of them have oil that kind of like swish through. And to me, I always thought, oh, well the oil is awesome because it removes all your makeup, so obviously this little like water is not gonna remove anything. Well, Bioderma sure told me because this thing is amazing. I actually used to use this on people when I was working at Shoppers Drug Mart in the makeup department. And I don't know why I never caved and purchased it, but only took five years to catch on and I'm glad I did because this is awesome. It removes your makeup, it's not harsh, there's no funny smell, there's no disgusting residue. It just feels very pure, very fresh, very clean. And the bottle's really cute because this was a little mini. I think it was like six or seven dollars. But usually it comes in like 
a really huge bottle and I think it's only like 14 or 15 bucks. Not sure where you can purchase it in the States. I think you can probably try Ulta. Don't quote me on that because I'm not positive, but in Canada you can get this from Shoppers Drug Mart. I've got one hair product for January that I have been loving. Normally I use the Moroccan oil argan oil and I think that's like 50 bucks a bottle and I ran out and I didn't feel like going to the supply store to get more. I like trying things out from the drugstore that I think might be capable of replacing a higher priced item. So the Moroccan oil is $49 I believe. It's an amazing product, I'm not gonna lie. I've even reviewed it on the website and I'll link it below. But I went to Walmart and I've been eyeing this for a while. It's the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil by Organics. It's sulfate free and it's a hundred mils. I think it was something like 11 or 12 dollars. It doesn't smell as good as the Moroccan oil, but it smells amazing. And you know what? It feels great on the ends of my hair. I only use the oil on the ends of my hair because I damage it so much from straightening and curling it all the time. I never really run it through the rest of my hair because I do have greasier roots because I'm just a total grease ball altogether. But yeah, I was really impressed with this considering it's a drugstore brand and it's a drugstore price. Obviously, I still prefer the Moroccan oil over this, but it's a great substitute when I don't feel like forking out $50 and I just need something to renew my hair. The Moroccan oil has a higher percentage of argan oil in it, whereas this one's a little bit more watered down and doesn't have as much. But I still really like it and I would highly recommend it for anybody who doesn't want to spend the money on the Moroccan oil one. You can definitely give this one a try. And I really like the bottle. It's cute. Last but not least, I've got some nail polishes. I Instagrammed a photo of one of my manicures, I believe in January, and they are the Julie G Nail Polishes by Jessie's Girl. They are fluorescent, bright, beautiful, and I absolutely love them on my nails. This one is 9 to 5, and this one is bikini. You can't find these in Canada, but you can order them online, I believe, on the Jessie's Girl website. And in the States, you can find these at Rite Aid. That's where I purchased mine when I went over the border. I think they're like $3.99, and if you use a very good base and top coat, then this nail polish should last you at least a week. I like Julie's nail polishes, and I'm probably going to purchase more in the future. And by the way, if you don't know who Julie G is, she actually is a YouTuber, and she started on YouTube, and then developed her own nail polish line with Jessie's Girl, so I'll link her channel below because she was actually one of the first YouTubers that I ever watched, and I hope to one day be able to meet her and have a fangirl moment. The next nail polish I've got is Essence Color and Go, and I probably sound like an Essence fanatic because I feel like I mention them every time I talk about products in the product video, and it's because I am. They're an awesome brand and they're inexpensive. These nail polishes are great. The one that I have here is Chic Reloaded, and it's kind of like a gunmetal shade with pink and green iridescent shine to it. It's very pretty. The applicator brush is pretty big, so that's always a benefit because you can, you know, apply your nail polish onto your nail with two strokes. It's long lasting, it's very glossy, the quality of it overall does not feel like that of a drugstore nail polish. It's inexpensive, I think it's like $2.99. And that concludes my January favorites, I hope that you enjoyed it and I'm sorry that I'm late. I'll try to be more timely in March. Bear in mind, I'm new and I'm probably gonna milk that for as long as I can, but I definitely will be more on top of it in March, and obviously in March I'm not going to have a crap load of Valentine's Day looks to film, so thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below which products you use that I've talked about, what products I should try, and what you've been loving in January. I absolutely love talking to you guys, and I love your recommendations. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to be friends, you can subscribe. If you want to chat, you can tweet me. I hope you're having a magical, beautiful day. And if you're not, I hope it turns around and turns into a magical, beautiful day. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.